Hello, hello everybody. In this video, we have some tweaks that I tested named Power Profile Events Priorities Tweaks. As we will see later on on the PowerPoint, those tweaks are helping us to reduce the latency related with priorities and the power uh, of our system. Here we have the tweaked registry. I changed actually those values as we will see later and we have the default values if you want to revert everything in case you have issues or you don't see an improvement so you can just copy those paths go to registry search and you will find the path and the values so that's about those registries we will see all details on the powerpoint uh, Obviously, make a backup, create a restore point be before you do anything. Because if you not do that, don't comment below when you're describing your issues. I will ignore it because I already warning you on this video. Anyways, let's go to the PowerPoint. So, the definition is this registry configuration modifies the priority of specific power profile events under the Windows Power Subsystem. By removing the PRI values, the system deprioritizes certain power savings behaviors, such as low power, background, standby, and others. This helps maintain consistent performance during scenarios that require low latency or sustained throughput, such as gaming or real-time processing. We already seen the path. So, by this definition, we are we get hyped because this uh, definition promising a huge improvement but the reality is a bit uh, different the hardware that i use the operating system tools terminology same things as always and we go to the fps in fortnite as you see we don't have any real difference maybe the 0.1 percent lows they get some boost but if we repeat the procedure maybe uh we don't see the same improvement. It's just, on my case, this boost. But okay, we can say it. But in 1% lows and average FPS, we don't have any huge difference. In Valorant, we have some boost, actually, but uh, probably it's about the test. It's not so much that we got so much uh, boost probably if I repeat the process may see uh, more balance uh, result I don't believe that we have so much improvement and I already know that you will comment this below probably it's because the test for that reason I don't like so much Valorant because I see those type of results um, Valorant in my cases it's uh, trustworthy i don't trust the results of valorant anyways but for the purpose of this video we have some improvement don't believe that you will see the, that such improvement so huge improvement don't expect that in cs2 uh we have something more balanced apparently um s dev is better but not a huge improvement the fps part again it's actually very balanced so we can say in cs2 the results are more uh reliable let's move to the latency in fortnite in direct kernel we don't see again any huge improvement or any improvement at all same thing for endos kernel same thing for amd driver same thing for the fortnite executable in valorant we have the same concept for all drivers and for the executable of Valorant and lastly in Windows Performance Analyzer for CS2 same thing again for that reason I skipping past those slides and we're coming to the conclusion based on the results and their analysis I see no meaningful difference so the judgment is yours to make as for me I couldn't care less but remember my indifference should never be mistaken for ignorance so that's about for those two weeks in my opinion just start testing and you may get the performance advantage by using them but obviously 
you need to conduct your own tests, as I say always. Comment it below with your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like, to leave your comments. Also, I provide my services, so if you are interesting, you can send me a message on Discord. Uh, or you can find my profile in on Twitter and join on my Discord server and get your service. Because many of you are asking me if I provide any services or not. Here we are. It's not necessary to buy by me or anything, but we can check. If you know what you do, you can just follow my videos. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. See you soon.